expanded caucus meeting of Edo Central Senatorial District of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has taken place at the party secretariat at Uromi, headquarters of Asian Northeast local government area of Edo State. This was the first major outing of the party in the senatorial district since the ban on party politics was lifted by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The expanded caucus meeting was made up of members of the senatorial caucus, the local government area executive council in the district, principal officers of the 51 wards, councillors, supervisory councillors, two leaders from each ward, members of the campaign council and the SAs and SSAs in the five local government areas. Though it was intended to be a meeting, it later turned out to be a rally to the admiration of all. The presence of the chairman of the party, Dr. Tony Azegbemi, and the candidate of the party in the forthcoming gubernatorial election, Rister Dr. Aswen Igodalo, added color to the meeting. His arrival at the venue as usual caused a stir among the jubilant party men and women from the component five local government areas in the senatorial district. Barista Igodalo went round the canopies to exchange pleasantries with the attendees to the admiration of all present. <laughs> The national anthem signaled the commencement of the day's event, and this was closely followed by the opening prayer. We pray that your wisdom will guide our deliberations here today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Father Lord, wherever we are missing it, you will speak to our ears in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bring Peter to our throne, to your throne of mercy. That in this forthcoming election, PDP's hand will be on top in the name of Jesus. In his welcome address, the senatorial chairman of the party, Bishop Anthony Okoson, emphasized that the gathering was only a meeting and not a rally. He also expressed his gratitude to all the attendees for finding time to attend the meeting in spite of their tight schedules. A house where cats dwell, rise acclaiming glory, is impossible. Mr. Chairman, this is only a meeting. It's not a rally, only a meeting. If we are to organize a meeting, you will know a rally, you will know what it means. Our candidate, the rest assured, with all these people praying for you, you are already there. And God will do it. We are not divided in issues. All the stories, oh, wow. are reading, all the noise making, first people have been paid to talk, they will talk. Exact people remain formidable. We are strongly behind you. And not for you, for ourselves. The state chairman of the party, Dr. Tony Azegbemi, among other things, expressed his gratitude to the attendees for their prayers during his captivity in the hands of kidnappers for 11 days. To thank all of you for your prayers, for your fasting, for me during my 11 days with very unfriendly people. <laughs> May God, in His infinite mercies, bless each and every one of you. And I pray that nobody here, nobody in this state, will go through that again in Jesus' name. I can see the enthusiasm, the happiness, the zeal in each and every one's eyes. And I know that our candidate will have the support of all of us. The chairman equally used the opportunity to welcome a decampee from the obedience movement who spoke on behalf of other decampees. I am a former Christopher White. I am from Asian Northeast to Asian Northeast. And I am based in Asian West. Out of the laws that are contested today, only a candidate will see. And that candidate. He came out to talk to us. He is not a governorship material. Why we are joining you today? He is not a governorship material. Whoever is telling you that that's why without is a governorship material is an understatement. The man is in the caliber of Peter Obi, and that is what we in the Obi get. Let's all be said we will work tirelessly to ensure that Aswe Ibunalo is 
The governorship candidate of the PDP, Barrister Dr. Aswen Igodalo, thanks the attendees profusely from the bottom of his heart, describing the day as one of the happiest days of his life. Today is one of the happiest days of my life. One of the happiest days of my life. I am humbled. I feel privileged. I feel, I feel totally overwhelmed. That my good people of Esa land, my good people of Edo Central, have considered me worthy to step forward as our candidate for Edo State with their full backing, with their full love, with their full privilege, with full transparency, with full accountability, and with massive integrity. I love my people. He specifically made reference to the youth, promising them a leading role in his government. So me, I promise you all our good people of Edo State and all our good people of Eastern Land that henceforth Edo State is going to rise to its true place in the community of sub sovereigns in the world. Without a doubt, and with all of us working. Make I talk something though. You won't go hard though. You work go hard. So make anybody not think say the work no go hard. But I am convinced beyond all reasonable doubt and with every fiber in my body that when we focus on this work, we will do it, we will do it, we will do it and we will succeed. I have a message for our youths. This government, by God's grace, is the government of our youths. And it's for now. And youths, will carry all of us on your shoulders to provide a, a first-class sub-sovereign. We will use your brain, we will use your intellect. Now, now they do ICT, now, now they do technology, now, now they do creative, now, now they dance, now, now they jump, now, now they play football, now, now they play hockey. We will use that thing we've got given us. Now we will take development in those states. Making us ready to walk home. Youth, we will go back to our farm, we will go back to our manufacturing company, we will go back to our ICT company, we will go back to our tourism, we will go back everywhere so that we will show the world that we are number one in everything. So that the world, when they see us, they go shake. They go not say truth not come. I thank everybody. The meeting essentially was called to promote the candidacy of Barista Aswen Igudalu by sanctifying the voters at the unit world and local government levels. Finally, our man Rafael Omoegbe spoke to some of the leaders and members of the party for their take on the day's events. Today, we are showcasing the gubernatorial candidate of our party, Aswe Igodalu, the man who sabi, the man when he will do him, the man when the, all the Edo people and the Asian people put him for him back. You have heard him. He's the one that will take Edo State to El Dorado. We thank God for his life. We encourage everyone remaining that they should join all of us to see that Igodalo is elected. Come September 21st, he will be at the Sadebe Avenue. From all indications, people have testified that no other candidate as far as Asan is concerned. The person that Asan people are willing to vote for is Barista Dr. Aswe Igodalo, and he's doing well by the grace of God. The aspirant is God sent to the Asan people and the people of Edo State in general. And the meeting of today was wonderful and is the beginning of great things that will happen before the election time. 